is Wednesday, baby, but it's Valentine's Day. in a balloon? Where is your ice cream at? There's ice cream in there? Yes, it's right here. Go ahead. You can open it, baby. You can take the stuff out. These are your bags. What is it? It's to paint. You can paint the hearts. We can do that tomorrow, okay? So we're busy today. What is this? That's a cookie you could decorate. You could do that now if you want. You want to decorate the cookie? Yeah. Okay. This bag is from my mom, y'all. The white one. Pop it! Okay, yeah. What is your habit, mom? What happened to you? I dropped my phone. <gasps> Gummy bears! Gummy bears? Yeah. That's the one. <gasps> slime! <laughs> y'all, I gotta tell y'all story time. I'll tell y'all later. But my that's cotton thing. candy, baby. It's not slime. It's cotton candy. Here, put your headband on. Happy Valentine's Day! Hi, Daddy. You're welcome, Princess. I love you. Thank you. Mm. You're like, I'm eating these chocolates right now, right? And <laughs> not your chocolates, or mine. I know it's all your chocolates. <laughs> Let me see what's over there. What you doing, Kaya? Making a cookie. You're making a cookie? Is it yummy? Yeah. You're decorating it. I'm gonna put more ice in. It didn't come with like a spatula or nothing. Can I see? Sure. I'm just gonna make a K. Look higher. It's my mom. It's Wednesday day. Girl, what? Look, mommy made a K for Kaya and uh -huh. a K for mommy, Kalea. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here and happy Valentine's Day, you guys. So currently it is 3.40 in the afternoon, you guys, and I'm getting ready. We are going out to dinner, and yes, I'm getting ready hella early. Let me let me explain to y'all what's going on as I style my hair. I don't know if y'all remember last year's Valentine's Day vlog, but we went to New York City last year for um Valentine's Day. I don't know if I told you guys why we went to New York, but it all ties into this year and why I'm getting ready and it ain't even four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting ready for dinner and it ain't even four four o'clock in the afternoon yet, right? So last year, all the places out here for dinner were was booked. Here, Philly, I don't think I checked Baltimore for real. But here in Philly was all booked. So we had to go to New York <laughs> in order to get a reservation somewhere. So that's why we went to New York for the day. So this year, you know, I'm thinking big. I'm like, let me start looking way ahead of time. Y'all, I kid you not, the place I want us to go to in Philly is called um, Steak 48. I wanted to go there. I called them like January 6th, January 7th. And they was booked for Valentine's Day. Fully booked. I was like, you, you gotta be kidding me. Like, it's more than a month before valentine's day and y'all are fully booked so cool didn't let that get to me but again that's the place i mainly wanted to go to because i've been hearing good things about them but at this point they're booked all right it's still early with them being booked i was like okay i definitely need to get like the ball rolling with finding somewhere else but i figured because they were really popular that's why they booked up y'all i could not find a single restaurant with reservations in Philly. I started looking in Baltimore a little bit, but I didn't really want to go to Baltimore. We weren't going to New York again. Like, I wanted somewhere close to here. So, every single restaurant that I found that I wanted to go to in Philly was booked. 
for Valentine's Day, y'all. They had really, really late dinners, like 9.30 and 10. That's mad late. You're not leaving out there until, like, midnight. I was like, no. And we both got to work tomorrow. Um, long story short, the one place I found, they had two reservations left. It was, like, a 9.30 and then this 6.15. I was like, all right, 6.15 is not that bad. I feel like that's, you know, standard uh, dinner time. 6.15 is not that bad. So I was like, all right, I'm going to book it. So I booked it. Then let me tell y'all how I was originally scheduled to work today. I was scheduled from... So I like kind... I didn't request offer today, but I put in a request that should I be put on the schedule if I can get off before 5 o'clock. This was before I made the reservations too. No, I'm lying. It might have been after I made the reservation. Needless to say, I'm not thinking if I was put on the schedule, they're going to keep me till... 30 minutes before 5 o'clock because I said that, you know, I would want to be off before 5 o'clock. Anyway, so yeah, I was scheduled today from 9.30 to 4.30. And at first, I was just going to have to dug it out. Like, granted, for my job, I do do my makeup and all that. But, like, I wanted to take pictures and I wanted my makeup fresh. Like, I would have had an all-day beat. I probably could have touched it up really quickly. But then I would have to come all the way back home, change, freshen up, touch up my makeup. And then we would have to drop Kai off to his mother's house and then drive to Philly all within an hour because I get off at 4 30 give or take I probably wouldn't be getting home till like five o'clock then we have to go be in Philly by six so that was pushing it really really close luckily at the last minute I did find somebody to switch shifts with me because originally I was off tomorrow so she's taking my shift today and I'm taking her shift tomorrow so it worked out perfectly so um I was gonna say like y'all saw but y'all didn't really see the clip before this is just kind of opening her um gifts but Where's my comb? Because I need to touch up this part. But yeah, I've been home all day basically getting ready. Because <laughs> y'all know I'm so last minute with everything I did. My nails today. Can y'all see? I did my nails today. I washed this wig last night, but I just straightened it this morning. I'm just terrible, you guys. I need to do better. Why is this hair so staticky? Like, y'all see that? I'm like combing it and the hair is flying up. I like that. But yeah, I may or may not cut this wig. And I hope it looks nice with my dress. Because originally when I first got the dress, if y'all watched last week's vlog, when I first got the dress, I tried it on when I got off and I had this wig on. And I like the way it looked because it's a lot going on with the dress. So it was very much so giving bob. But then I kind of wanted some curls. But I also straightened another wig yesterday, my long wig. And that just wasn't given with the outfit. I felt like it was too... It was too long. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to curl it or not because I'm going to be tight if we get to Philly and my curls drop. I don't know. Next time y'all see me, we'll probably be in the car on our way there. We have a little less than an hour before I want to leave. I want to get out of here by 4.30. Um, we'll make it to his mom's house by 5, give or take, because I feel like it's kind of rush hour and everybody is going somewhere because of Valentine's Day. So we'll get to his mom at like 5. If we leave straight from his mom, she's only maybe like 20, 30 minutes from the place. But I want to take pictures. So I'm thinking we leave as soon as we get there. So we get there like 5.30 and that gives us a little wiggle room to play around and take pictures. So I'm a little annoyed because I ordered something so last minute for my camera. I know um, this thing for the flash and it will be arriving after we leave. So that's that sucks. But I still have my light and everything. Um, when that does come in though, I will update y'all because pictures finna eat not the pictures today but every picture after finna eat y'all look at us doing good on timing it is 4 36 we were in the car ready to go at 4 29 i'm just now picking up my camera to vlog but yeah we're on our way to drop kyle off and then we're going to head to the place um it's in a casino so hopefully they got a parking lot and we ain't got to do too much as far as it comes to parking because y'all know it's philly it's the city yeah, so it's a hotel and casino. So feel me, they should have places for the guests to park. But now I look so cute. We gotta get a full body of the dress. We gonna have babe do that when we get there. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you.
true. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. love. So don't give away my love. love. So don't give away. Ain't another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. love. So don't give away my love. All right, you guys. So we are leaving dinner, and yeah, I'm satisfied. So again, I don't know who I'll be keeping up with my vlogs and whatnot, but if y'all watched last year's Valentine's Day vlog, we went to Tao. Um, they have multiple uh, locations. We went to the one. It's either on 34th or 42nd. I don't know, somewhere in the city. Somewhere in the city. I don't remember. Go watch the vlog. That place gets a four out of 10 for me. Like, first of all, the food was mid AF. It was definitely giving freezer aisle Chinese food. The drinks were, oh, I'm not even gonna say they were all nasty, like I tried them all, but I had a lychee martini. I think it was my second lychee martini ever. Or maybe that might've been the first place that I tried to lychee. Okay, that was the first place I've ever tried a lychee martini and it was disgusting. Like I was convinced lychee martinis were terrible, but then the place I went to after that, I went to Turks and Caicos and I had a bomb lychee martini. And then I went somewhere else that it was okay. But that first one, what was it? It was strong. Granted, most people wouldn't complain saying a drink is nasty with it being strong. But if you know, you know, like there's an art to being a bartender to make your drink strong, but tastes good feel me like i barely wanted to finish the first drink but it was like 20 dollars a drink so i finished it y'all but it was it was it tasted like drinking vodka straight out of a bottle straight out of a uh, uh, straight out of a bottle I, I can't even say it but y'all it was nasty but when i went to turk to geckos and had it it was strong but it was good and sweet like granted martinis are like i've had a couple different martinis in my life and martinis are strong af you guys like the drink itself is hella alcohol so i don't know really what i was expecting but all lychee martinis need to taste like the one that i had in um turks and caicos just add a little more simple syrup and we'll be okay you know this place y'all my food was so good so i was um telling baby i'll insert some pictures and stuff across the screen because y'all we i was on full content creator mode in there you guys and low key we in 2024 i feel like you got a camera they treat you a little differently i don't know i felt like i was important okay but um yeah i was taking the pictures when our food came out and i'm like damn like my plate look all lonely the server was asking me like if i wanted any toppers on my steak or anything and i was like nah like i'm good it's okay my plate came out it was literally just the steak on the plate and some shredded something i don't know what it was um and then babe his plate looked all spectacular dressed up so i was like oh yeah your food look better than mine uh -uh, i'm act like yours is mine but in the end, y'all, mine tasted better because he let the server upcharge, well, not upcharge him, upsell him. He got blue cheese on his lamb chops. What are you doing? So that was disgusting. Mind y'all, when the food came out, I'm thinking I had Parmesan cheese on my plate. Like, it was something on the plate with the um my steak, and I don't know what it was, but it was a smell at the table, and it smelled terrible. Like, it was making me sick. It was cheese. It just stunk. So I'm thinking it's my plate the whole time. It's his plate. It's the blue cheese. Like, I didn't even want to really be sitting next to him no more. But, yeah, overall, we learned not to judge a book by its cover because though my plate looked so plain like it was missing something, my food definitely tasted better. So, my steak was a 10 out of 10. I tried his lamb chops. I wasn't really a fan, but it was because of the sauce. I don't know how it would have tasted by itself. The mac and cheese, we tried restaurant mac and cheese for the first time. We normally always get, like, potatoes or something. It was a restaurant mac and cheese. Like, it wasn't nasty, but it wasn't, oh my God, it was good. The asparagus was okay. I definitely could have done with salt, but we also let it get cold, so we packed it to go. We had some scallops for our appetizers, y'all. 10 out of 10. They were so good, and they don't have a scallops entree, so I highly recommend, like, if you want an appetizer, get the scallops. We were between the scallops and the calamari, and we wound up going with the scallops. Glad we did. And then Babe got um, the seared tuna. It was okay. 
if you're into sushi you'll like it. it's topped with like some wasabi so it was kind of spicy so as far as the drinks um we got we both got the same drink babe ordered his first and i was like all right i'm gonna taste it see if i like it because i i would have gotten that espresso martini because i was low-key tired i don't know if it if it if uh these days, I don't know if I really be tired or if, like, my contacts be making my eyes heavy, y'all. If y'all got a recommendation for some comfortable contacts, please let me know because my eyes be so dry. Um, but, yeah, I was like, I can do an espresso martini and maybe it'll help wake me up. But his drink came out and it was good, so I went ahead and ordered the same thing. It's pretty much a lemon drop. The server said the only difference is it's not made with vodka. It's made with lemoncello, which is their house-made liquor or something, whatever. It was good. The server did, like, let us know, you know, it's not too strong. But it tastes good, it's sweet, whatever. It tasted just like a freaking lemon drop to me. But obviously, a lemon drop would have been slightly stronger. But yeah, that drink was good. Then, babe, he got some other drink after. I'll put the names across the screen because I can't remember. Um, his second drink was nasty. It tasted like straight tequila. If you didn't know, I don't like tequila. I don't like... Tequila just has this distinct taste to it that I don't, I don't <laughs> like. I drink it because my friends drink it, but it's just not my preference. If I have to choose, I'm not drinking it. But yeah, the other drink had a lot going on. It was tequila, it had Prosecco. It had a whole bunch of stuff going on but anyways i highly recommend y'all check out um the prime rib they do have a location in baltimore and dc as well the one in philly is inside of a casino um and overall i would definitely go back i enjoyed myself food was good can't go wrong with a nice little filet okay and yeah we are on our way to get our kid <laughs> honey we're home You have fun? Mm -hmm. My little baby who don't listen. So she wanted chips. This is a variety pack of chips. She said she wants Cheetos. I was like, the Cheetos is hot. So now she points to these. I've had these before. They're a little spicy too, but there's no more. It's only hot Cheetos in the bag. She insists. So I'm going to open these for her. And we're going to get her reaction. Be careful. Here. What happened? It's spicy, ain't it? I told you. I need water. You need water? Yes. Get water. It's right there. Next to the plant. Where are you going? Oh, you have your own water? <laughs> I told you it was spicy, girl. So it is a couple of days since you guys last saw me. We are on our way to Tatum's first birthday party. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Tatum's fourth birthday party, you guys. If you don't know who Tatum is, that is my aunt's son. We were pregnant around the same time, you guys. When she was pregnant, we did a whole bunch of videos on my channel. Him, him and Kaya are seven months apart. So yeah, we're on our way to his birthday party running late per usual i did vlog last year when we went as well and we went to chuck e cheese and we were late and i bought his gift like literally right before we showed up and this year it's no different except unfortunately i will be arriving empty handed and i, I hate that i hate that with passion what are you going to kids birthday parties baby showers all of that what are you going for empty handed like i don't like that but i'm gonna blame my aunt because she was being petty so I didn't get to ask like what he wanted. Like I'm at this point when it comes to buying gifts for kids, I want it to be something that they want or need rather than just buying anything and it mess around and never get played with and then I wasted my money. So yeah, I wound up texting her this morning. Um, what does he like? And he's into dinosaur dinosaurs. So I was gonna run to Walmart and get something, but I'm running so behind. So first of all, y'all, the party started at two. It's two thirty right now. Mind you, I texted uh, my aunt at like 12.30 asking her. I'm like, hey, like, you know, does it really start at 2? Or is that just what you told us? Because, you know, black folk never on time. She was like, no, it really starts at 2. I'm like, oh, mind you, this is at 12.30. I'm still in bed, you guys. I I woke up with a hangover, if we're being honest. I was out very late last night. I didn't go to sleep till like 4.30 in the morning. I was up at 10 o'clock in the morning because of Kaya. I had a rough morning, okay? My head was hurting. So I was in bed for as long as I could possibly be. I, di I, I didn't get up till one. I didn't get up and start getting us together till one o'clock. But also like I wasn't in such a rush cause we're only 20 minutes from where we're going. So 
y'all know me I procrastinate I'm gonna wait till the one thing about it I'm gonna wait till the last minute to do a lot of stuff so I'm gonna push it for as long as I can I'm just gonna bring him his gift next time we're in town which will probably be sometime next month because we are going to see my grandmother for her birthday but let this be a lesson let's normalize telling people you know your family you know your friends you know the people that are always very punctual the people that be early but then you know the people that be late so I feel like we should use that to tell people what time events is okay like knowing me I'm always late she she definitely should have told me one o'clock definitely should have told me one o'clock but at the same time I could have planned like she told me one o'clock and then like I'm really rushing because she only has the party room for an hour and a half and that's like the first thing then we can why is there like traffic coming up or something then we can um stay in the water park like till they close but the you know when you book parties with these places they're punctual they don't care if you're not punctual you booked it for that time that's the time that you have it till like regardless of your if you're on time or not so like obviously she paid her money for the room i want to make it to the room part so we're only six minutes away so we're doing good on time we'll be in the party room for like what's that 50 minutes which i feel like is good enough um won't be there to say happy birthday that that's that's all that's that, that's not all that matters but that's the main thing 